Hey everybody, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. It has been years since I've uploaded anything and I figure right now with quarantine going on, what is the best thing to do? Update my YouTube channel with a video of stuff that I am decluttering out of my life. Um, I'm just doing this on my phone so I hope that it's going to be short and I hope I can get through this quickly. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy this. I'm just going to do this really quickly and hopefully um, make it through every product without boring you guys too, too much. So I'm just grabbing a wipe to get ready because I might be showing you guys some samples or some swatches, I should say. But the first thing I'm going to get rid of is some of these powder puff things. I never use them. They have never been used. I put them in my kit when I a long time ago used to do makeup and I haven't done that in a very very long time. They have never ever been used like I said and so I'm just gonna pass those along. Uh, I'm getting rid of a lot of pigment. So hopefully you can see all these here. I'm getting rid of a ton of pigments. So most of these were purchased off of um, I think it was Makeup Geek's website years ago. They were like five bucks a thing. And although these ones are very, very cute and um, I thought I was going to get a lot of use out of them. Honestly, I didn't even touch them. So I feel like it would be just silly for me to hang on to these. And um, yeah, I think I'm just going to pass these along to somebody. I have sold some of this stuff already to people that I know. Um, so... The rest of the stuff is just like I'm going to try and find a home for it or donate it or garbage it. So yeah, I'm going to get rid of these. Um, like I said, these are all from Makeup Geek's website. I think they're all like MAC pigments or Ben Nye pigments. Um, this was in um, Azalea Sparkle, Reflex Black and Red, Chartreuse, and Navel Blue. Just never used them and I feel like they're just sitting there and need to find a better home. I'm also getting rid of the Makeup Forever professional Paris. It's a star powder in 90930 and it's so gorgeous, literally so gorgeous, but I have so many shades that are like this and honestly like I just I don't need it. I have so many shades like this. So I'm just going to find another home for that. I hope I find a home for these things um with someone that I know because it would just would be nice not to have these products go to waste. Um, also, I'm going to get rid of this MAC pigment. I think it's in Grape. I don't even know that they sell this anymore. This is in Grape. Again, never used it. Not interested. Going to get rid of it. This is a tiny little sample of Heritage Rouge pigment, which I believe I have still. Oh, excuse me. I apologize for that. My son's monitor just got shut off and it just made a bunch of beeps. Sorry about that. I had to shut it off. Um, so yeah, years and years and years ago, I was trying to use down one of my really old pigments. And so I used to put it in here to use it up. I just spill a little bit out on a napkin and take the brush and or my finger, whichever I preferred. So this has never been touched with fingers, but I'm, I'm going to get rid of it because I still have a huge tub of it. Um, and then the last pigment I'm going to get rid of is the MAC pigment in blue brown. And this is, you can tell this is old because look at the packaging. Like it's the really old pigment packaging. And this is pretty close to being full. I did pour some into containers and give them to friends a long time ago because it's just, this is a stupid amount of product. Like more than any a single person could ever really use unless you do makeup artistry and like the shade and use it often but for myself I did not um and then I have this beautiful glitter um where is it from it says bitsy nail and body glitter I don't use nail and body glitter so I'm gonna find another home for that this really really saddens me um this is my makeup uh makeup geek blushes just the pan blushes and these ones are inglot and i went to florida years ago to see my friend and i had never seen an inglot uh, stand before um, i had a kiosk in the mall i can't remember what it was called um but it was one of the malls in florida and it was a huge mall I'm so disappointed because i absolutely loved these so very much i have three different shades and they're absolutely beautiful they're just gorgeous and I just feel like 
I didn't get enough use out of them. The, the swatches or the whatever fingerprints you see out of these or brush strokes you see out of these are basically one-time use and then just swatching to see if they're so good. They smell. They smell awful and so I will be throwing those out. And then these are all the blushes that I got from Makeup Geek. And again, like this one has hard pan or something on it. I think I used that one maybe one. Oh, sorry, you can't even see. I think I've used this one maybe once. And it's in Romance. And the rest, I don't even know that I've actually even used. I basically gave them my money, got some products, and decided just to throw them in the trash, apparently, is how these worked out, which is unfortunate. So it's pretty clear to me that I'm spending my money on things that I don't need because I have a stupid blush collection and they're mostly MAC and even my old MAC ones don't smell like those ones smell. So I won't be buying pretty much any blushes other than MAC. Um, sorry if you've noticed I have one nail on. I ripped the rest off and this one just is like I think it's super glued on. <laughs> it's just not coming off. So I ap apologize for that, but we'll move on to these just so uh, we can try and get through this faster. I, I'm like disappointed in the fact that I have so much product that I'm not using you guys. Um, these ones have made it through a ton of declutters. These are my Sephora um, eyeshadows and these colors are like absolutely beautiful. This one here is like a green shade. It is in Emerald Facet. Like, that is so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. I do not wear green and I do not wear blue eyeshadow. And if I do need to, I have so much other of those colors in other shades or other palettes. This one is like a very unique blue. It's stunning. Like, I wish I wore blue eyeshadow, but my eyes are blue and I just feel very 80s when I wear blue eyeshadow just for that simple fact. So... And I think I've maybe used them like a handful of times. So I'm going to probably have to throw those out because they're very old. Um, and then a couple more loose pigments. These are Makeup Geek. These are just when they changed some of their packaging to the smaller, cuter tubs. Now bear with me because these do not have stoppers in them. There was that transition stage where she did ones, uh, Marlena did ones that didn't have stoppers in them. And you can see how messy this is. It's really beautiful, but unfortunately, it's not something I'm going to use. And I have a ton of MAC pigments that I really love that have a lot more impact than this. So I will be passing this one along. This is in Sweet Dreams. And they're still in the packaging. Like, I've never used them. It's unfortunate. The next one is New Year's Eve. Like, look at the sparkle already on that. However... I've never used it. I don't foresee myself using it. It looks beautiful and it looks so glittery and gorgeous, but it's not my thing. If I'm going to do glitter, I'm going to do a liquid glitter from like Stila or, or Mac or something like that. And I'm not going to use this. So I'm going to pass that along as well. And then I think I got this with a hundred point perk at Sephora it's just a small Urban Decay bullet and I think that kind of drew me in was that this was the newer packaging and I never had, I just buy MAC lipsticks. I pretty much buy MAC everything. I'm probably the one and only person who just like uh, is obsessed with MAC. This has never been used. It's never been used. I think I swatched it on my hands once. Um, I'll probably pass this along to my mom or something. It's so gorgeous. It's a little deep, but I think, you know, if you just mix it in with a little bit of... Um, uh, lip balm or something and just use it as a tint it might be nice I don't mind dark but I don't think my mom will, will really like the darkness and then I'm gonna get rid of this Sephora brush it's a contour brush a contour and highlight brush um I never found a good use for this like I have tons of brushes that are like this and I rarely use them so I'll be passing that along and then this is the Maybelline. I'm sorry, this is all over the place. I'm just grabbing things because I did actually go through my stuff. So you'll be seeing I'm just grabbing a ton of, of product that I have. And then I'm going to get to my eyeshadow palettes at the end. Um, this one is the Maybelline Age Rewind or Instant Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles. And um, this one is in the shade Fair. I don't like products that have sponges. I don't like that. I feel like it's very unhygienic um, when you're sticking like product in a sponge, touching your face, and then continually putting product in something that has 
like constantly been touched with like face to product, face to product over and over again without being washed. And there's a lot of product in here that it would take me a very long time. Um, I think I would probably want to remove that and, and just use it with a brush. But I tried the foundation of this and I hated it. It was terrible and it was greasy and I, I didn't see the hype on it. Like maybe it was good for drier skin, but for me, I have like relatively like, um, I have problematic skin that's like kind of oily, can be kind of oily at times, but there's like spots on my face that are really dry. So just like my skin is messed up, but again, Mac works for me. So I use Mac. Um, this did not. So I'm going to pass this along to somebody else. And then I have two of the It Cosmetics um, CC Plus Radiance Ombre blushes. These are amazing beautiful blushes i've actually sold the sugar plum one so i'm just going to show you what it looks like i'm not going to touch it because i am of course it's being sold to someone so i don't want to mess around with it it's that beautiful packaging very like mirror as you can see me hello <laughs> and this is just like great packaging i think it's absolutely stunning i do wish that i liked the product more because i really like the fact that the packaging is luxurious and there's like a decent size um mirror in there and the, the blush itself is really nice but I'm just I have way too many other blushes and I'm not using this and I feel like if I could give it to somebody else or sell it to somebody else would be better for me this one's in coral flush and I think um I thought this was gonna sell much faster but that one sold right away this one is the it cosmetics blush again and look at the color on this like, it's just beautiful. Sorry for that. I feel like this is beautiful. To me, though, I find them a little bit on the chalkier side. Um, so I'm just like, I think that has to do with part of the, like, color correcting and anti-aging and stuff like that in there. I feel like that has to do with maybe some of that. Um, I'm just, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a fan of the blushes themselves. I think I've only used this Coral Flush one a couple of times, and I, I didn't feel like... It was for me, basically, and I want someone else to, you know, use it that's going to enjoy it. Oh, I'm so sorry I keep hitting this. Um, I have this Wet n Wild Fergie highlighter. I have been trying to keep this in my collection. Again, like another one that's been passing the declutters forever. And I feel like it's just time to let it go. It's really pretty. You guys have all seen this. I have way too many blushes or um, highlighters that are like this, and it's very deep. And I find that, um, I have, like I said, I have so, I have a like, stupid amount of highlighters, but it is time to pass this along to somebody else that can use it. Um, and then I have one other illuminator or highlighter by NYX. This one is also sold. It is in Ritualistic. And it's a very wearable, beautiful shade. I have to wash these and like spray them with isopropyl alcohol anyway, but that's what that one looks like. It's very pretty, but again, I have the NARS blush or the NARS highlighter and I have the balm highlighter and they all have a little bit more impact. I have like, I have so many highlighters. This is just, someone else really needs to get use out of that. It is very beautiful though. Um, I'm going to move on to some of these palettes. These ones are all sold as well. Um, the Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette. The packaging, I think, got a lot of people. I feel like this packaging kind of just like made people want this product. Beautiful big mirror. I haven't even taken the cellophane or whatever you want to call it off of mine. Um, I think I've used this eyeshadow palette twice. I did not enjoy the fact that the shadows did not have enough impact. I like a lot of impact and a lot of opaqueness in my eyeshadows. Even on um, a day where I feel like I don't want to wear that much makeup, I just use a lighter hand. And I feel like this just didn't cut it for me. A lot of these shades are all very light. There's no like real mid-tone. Ooh. <coughs> oh, holy smokes. Excuse me. There's not a whole lot of mid-tones except for that um, 1987 shade, or no, sorry, Zone. That's the only one. I sincerely apologize for the sneeze. Um, but yeah, it just didn't cut it for me, and I feel like someone else needs to enjoy that. So I have sold that one. 
Next is the Take Me to Brazil palette. This is the original palette from BH Cosmetics. When I got this, I was so in love because the colors are really awesome. And I mean, if you have a little white base underneath it, it's pretty much like the perfect bright palette. Um, I'm just, I think I'm done with this one. I, I have upgraded to a few other ones and I want this one to get a good home and that one is now sold. Same with this. This is from Tarte. This is one of their holiday collection palettes, I believe. The chunkiness alone of this is too much for me, but I feel like it's necessary because... Um, it does come with a little area where you can put brushes and stuff. So that's totally fine. It just wasn't for me. Again, the cellophane is still on it. I have actually not, I don't think I've actually used it. Um, I think I stuck my brush in a couple to swatch or maybe I used it once. I might've used it once. Um, I don't even remember to be honest. It, it has been that long, but I do actually enjoy this. I think it's a really, really nice palette. Um, it's just, I, again, I have so many other ones that I prefer and it's not getting any attention and it has now sold and I'm so thankful for that. Here's a couple more that I have that I will be getting rid of as well. I'm not getting rid of the actual Z palette. Um, I'm using that in case I travel and I want to just move things around, but I'm getting rid of every single shade in here. Um, all of these are just like regular, typical satin matte whatever eyeshadows from Makeup Geek. And these ones are all, they're all Makeup Geek except for this, I think is Mary Kay. I don't even know where I got that. Um, these three are like, so these two have um, shifts in color. And then this one's more of like a metallic look. And I don't wear blues. I don't wear greens. Same theme. I'm getting rid of those. So I'll find a home for those. Um, and then I have these two, a few of my favorite things and everything nice. These are the holiday palettes from Too Faced. Um, it's a shame that I'm actually handing these over, but these as well did not get very much love. Anything that you see in here, I think I used it maybe three times, maybe three, four times. I'm being very generous here. Um, I don't think I've really used much of these at all. Like, um, it looks like I definitely used Sun Bunny and I have tried Chocolate Soleil and I may have swatched Melted Into Spring. Um, but again, not enough to even make this palette worth it. Like this is essentially would have cost me a lot of money to do my makeup once or twice or maybe three times. So I'm getting rid of that. And also the Everything Nice is basically the same idea except um, this the year that this came out, it came with a highlighter and the brushes inside, which is I feel like unnecessary because I don't know many people that would actually use those. Again, I have most of these shades in other palettes and I'm just, I'm not a fan. So again, I'm passing this one along. Uh, another theme here is Tarte. I'm going to be passing these along. I did years ago try and use these in Project Pan and I made actually a lot of progress on these two. But again, I have these two in other shades. I have most of these in, in other palettes, pardon me. And this one still has the wrap on it. So I don't even know that I've actually used that one. That one might be brand new. Um, so these ones I'm going to be passing along as well. And this one is from Urban Decay. It's from the Great and Powerful Oz collection. Um, I barely use these. I think I've swatched them mostly. I maybe have used them a handful of times, if that. This is actually from the other one. There's two of these, and it's like the other one has darker colors in there. Again, I don't like green, so I switched it out with the gold and silver one that was in here. Passing this along. I have just decided to declutter my Kat Von D palette in Ladybird. This was a really hard one for me because I do enjoy the packaging quite a bit. Um, it has a good mirror. I think it's a sturdy case. It would be good for traveling. Um, but I don't need this. I don't use the purple. I don't use this blue. And I have all these other colors in other palettes. So I'm passing that along because it's not getting enough attention. This is the Too Faced Return of Sexy palette. I don't use this at all. I wish I did, but I don't use it at all. And um, it's very like glitter bomb factory. And most of these, I, I don't know if it's gone bad or if they're just like drying out or whatever the situation is, but it needs to find another home or go in the garbage to be completely honest. And this is the Interstellar Kat Von D palette. I actually really like this, but... I have so many other, like, I don't use this. I really don't use this. 
Um, it's unfortunate because looking at this, it just makes my heart sad. Um, but I'm over it and I'm going to get rid of that. And the last one is the Gwen Stefani blush palette. Um, I don't know why I even wasted my money and got these things. I think it was, again, the fact that the packaging was cool. Um, I'm not usually a sucker for packaging because I feel like no one's going to see this anyways. I don't display my makeup. I don't take it out and say, hey, look at this. Um, so essentially the packaging is just for me and I don't even look at it because I usually keep them in these packages. So it's pointless and I'm not a fan of the stuff inside. I don't really like these shades. I don't like the texture. It just did nothing for me personally. I know a lot of people that would really enjoy this, but for me, it did nothing at all. So I am going to be passing that along as well. That's everything I have. Um, I'm going to take you off of here and say hi. <laughs> so I just wanted to say, hey, um, this is it. It's all my declutter. I will be going through my product again soon and hope that um, I can find some more. I really want to get through all my stuff and like downsize quite a bit. And I feel like I've made a really good dent um, in the rest of my stuff. And I think I may do like going through highlighters together, going through bronzers together, you know, something like that. But because I decluttered all of this stuff at once, I just wanted to make a video because I haven't been around in a while. Say hi to everybody and hope you're all doing well and staying safe during this really crazy time. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves and happy Easter. Take care and I will see you guys again soon.